Hello YouTube, uh, this video I'm going to show you a little something special. You know, this might look like an ordinary turtle to you, but little do you know that this turtle is actually controlled by a remote access toolkit, uh, otherwise known as a rat, which can be found in real life computer systems. Uh, so keep on watching and I'll show you. Here we have just the default advanced wireless mining turtle, a disk drive, and a little disk I made here. We also have a phone that when you start it, it uh, opens up this process. It just it just shows um, information about something I'll show you in a second. Alright, so you want to start at the phone, you set down the disk drive, put the disk inside, and you connect the turtle. The turtle is just shut down right away. You can see the turtle is automatically labeled now, as in as its name is just Advanced Turtle now. So if you break it and replace it, the program stay on it. Uh, here, you can't really tell that something's going on. Well, you can kind of see that there's a background process running, but you know it just says System. So like, I don't know. Maybe it's just something. It's it's not even something you can do. You can't terminate it. You restart it and it's still there. So what are you gonna do? And you know, for the more unexperienced users of computer craft, you know, they can't really understand like what that is or how to get rid of it or how to clear the label and then get rid of it. So if we open up our trusty phone here and go over to slave listener, we can see that we have uh, an ID here. This is the RedNet ID. And this is the time in seconds. Just from OS dot time, multiply that by 50, you get seconds. So uh, you can just see like, so every minute, you can, well we disconnected it a couple times, but every minute, uh, this is gonna update. Every 60 seconds, it'll update. Um, so you might be saying, oh, so what is the use of this? Well, if you install this on someone's turtle, and you uh, you know, you just let them do whatever with it. They don't realize that it's installed. Uh, you can get some information about them. You can get their current location. Uh, uh, the GPS position of the turtle is 892.63, negative 886. We can verify that just by walking up here. 892. 63 negative 886 yeah so that's one thing you can get their approximate location you can see here it updated uh, 60 seconds later and then again when I typed in locate all right what else can we do well using this control program uh, you just type in control then you type in the ID of the uh, slave which is 40 there's a bunch of various controls you can get the heading so see which direction they're facing you can see this one's facing the Z negative direction. Uh, as you can see here in the top right, you can see that this goes further negative as I walk forward. And the way this is found out is just by moving the turtle, or getting the turtle's location, moving it forward one block, and getting its location again. And you can just see what direction it's facing. I can also make the turtle turn uh, directions, get the heading, and you can see it's facing the Z axis now. Um, also, I can make the turtle come over to me, uh, so I can say, go to, and then I type in 890, 60, let's just say 70, so it doesn't mess up this farm over here, 899, so it sends the coordinates to the turtle, it gets its heading, and then it moves off, so that's why it moved one block, it's going to go to the Y first, then it's going to go to the Z, and then it'll turn for the X. But it doesn't have to turn in this case. Or no, it already turned. It went uh, Y, X, Z. Alright, so you can see there the turtle says it's... Uh, I messed up the programming here. This was like an early version. Well, it's, I haven't gone any further with this since I got it working. But um, 
Yeah, it's just putting that first coordinate. It says 890. So it's just displaying that as a response. But it should say, uh, got to this position. But I have it set so that when the turtle is moving somewhere, it's supposed to update its position every 15 sec or every 15 moves. So it'll tell you where it is. So yeah, you can just place this wherever, start her up. Uh, you can tell the, you can do make it do uh, multiple things. Uh, I think I can also make it go uh, forward. I think I can make it dig, maybe. No, I can't make it dig. But part of the forward thing is going to be is um part of the forward thing is to move or is to automatically dig. So yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can basically just put in any coordinate. Let's say I want the turtle to go up to this bridge here, 909, uh, 80, negative 858. I can just say, go to 909, 80, negative 858, and it'll start moving. You can see there it got its heading, and now it's going up. Now it's going to turn and go down the x-axis, and then go to the z. So it's arrived now. We can tell it to come down to us, somewhere where we can reach it. So uses for this, you know, obviously you can track where people are in a PvP setting. Uh, you can also just mess around with your friends, like troll them they'll be confused why their turtle disappeared. Uh, some of the other commands I have for this is if you type burrow, the com it'll go all the way down as far as it can. And if you type elevate, it'll go up as high as it can. Just keep going up and up and up. Um, so obviously if you put it all the way up to the sky, it's a little hard to retrieve it. Um, but other than that, I mean, Obviously, in a P like I said, in a PvP setting, you can control the person's turtle. Uh, I, I had it set. Right now, I think it might be... I don't remember if this is working correctly or not. But I could type in excavate, and then 10. And it would start excavating. But I that's messed up right now. Uh, like I said, this is a, a kind of early version. I think I'm going to completely remake it um, to be more efficient. But otherwise... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me guys let me know if you guys want uh, to see like a tutorial for this to make a rat for the Minecraft turtles. But yeah, other than that, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.